hello friends welcome back to the channel if you are facing this preparing automatic repair error on your laptop or desktop in this video i will show you some troubleshooting steps to fix this issue completely after waiting for few seconds you will see this blue screen automatic repair your pc did not start correctly so the first step you can try is simply click on this restart button so this will reboot your system and hopefully this step will fix your issue. The second step you can try is go to this advanced option, click on it, then click on this troubleshoot option, then click on advanced option. Now click on this command prompt. Now select your login username. Now enter your login username password if you are using otherwise leave it blank and simply click on continue. Now you have to type a few commands to repair your windows corrupted files. So the first command is sfc space slash scan now. So this command will repair all the windows corrupted files. Press enter and this will take a few minutes verification process completed now type the next command bootrack space slash fix mbr type this command then press enter now type the next command bootsec space slash nt60 space sys press enter now type the next command bootrack space slash fix boot press enter now type the next command bootrack space slash rebuild bcd press enter now type the final command chk dsk space slash f space slash r space c colon press enter that's it now type exit press enter click on continue so this will reboot your system and fix your issue as well now move on to a next method if you are still getting the same issue open this screen then click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option now select the first option startup repair so this option will repair your startup files click on it and this process will take some time so as you can see this option is unable to repair my laptop startup repair startup repair could not repair your pc so now move on to a next method to solve this issue click on advanced option now click on troubleshoot so the final method you can try is reset your pc with this option reset this pc so there are two options first is keep my files if you select the first option in that case all your data in your desktop will remain safe there will be no data loss if you select the first option if you select the second option all the files will remove so go for the first one keep my files then click on local reinstall so this is your final method you can try and this method will definitely fix your issue because it will reset your pc completely but your data will remain safe so as you can see the instructions your windows will go back to the default mode keep personal files so all your data in your desktop or in your other partitions will remain safe so there will be no data loss at all this option will reinstall your operating system your windows the only drawback of this option is all the softwares will remove so these are the information simply click on reset and this will take around 20 minutes to complete and it will reset your PC completely. But all your data, all your files will remain safe. This is your final method you can try. This is all for the video. Thank you.